Hi, I'm Eric Schicatano with CNHI Pennsylvania, and here's a quick look back at some of the happenings across the Commonwealth this week. And namely, we're going to stick to Harrisburg and the Pennsylvania capital, where the state's budget is finally finished, and so is the first half of the General Assembly's current legislative session. State lawmakers cast more than 130 votes combined during a three-day dual session week, and more than 70 of those votes were made on Wednesday, the last day of that session week. One change that families should be thrilled about come tax season is the new child care tax credit. Rather than a 30% match, which had been the standard here in Pennsylvania, that credit match will um, match the federal credit one-to-one. -one. So raising the maximum credit for a single child from $315 to more than a grand, and that credit will grow with the size of the family, of course. Uh, the budget includes record spending on public school education, and as part of last-minute negotiations, a tax credit program for private schools is also rising, and that's by $150 million. There's another $175 million for cleaning health hazards at schools, like, like lead, and another $300 million for community colleges and public libraries. And the 911 surcharge that cell phone users pay uh, and that supports emergency communications across the state. That's rising from $1.65 to $1.95 a month. Uh, it's not quite what county emergency management personnel asked for, but they say the increased revenue will help struggling centers maintain operations. The governor signed dozens of bills this week, and that includes an expansion of the Clean Slate Law. That law allows certain nonviolent criminal records to be sealed. Defendants without another conviction will now have to wait seven years instead of 10 years to petition for a criminal record to be sealed. Once it's sealed, it can act like it never happened. Um, the law will now also expand to include certain third-degree felonies, definitely not first and second degrees. Also signed was a bill reforming probation here in the Commonwealth. Advocates say the new law will prevent offenders from being jailed as frequently on technical violations. Probation review conferences could bring early termination in as little as two to four years, or half the set sentence, whichever is sooner. And of course, that's dependent on the seriousness of the charges. Pennsylvania's wiretap law was renewed through 2029. This is the law that allows the Commonwealth to be a two-party consent state, and that means nobody can record your phone calls without permission or warrant. Uh, new to the law is an exception to that rule. Telemarketers and robocalls can now be recorded without permission when there is suspicion of a crime being committed. Another bill signed into law would authorize the Attorney General to appoint a special prosecutor to lead investigations and prosecutions on mass transit here in Philadelphia. That city's district attorney, Larry Krasner, is fiercely opposed to the law and its preemptive prosecutorial jurisdiction, and he's calling on the AG not to comply. That's it for now. See you next time.